One of my first times working with Emma was when I was a senior helping with the middle school yearbook class. I was working with a group photo and she had this great idea. The theme was coloring book for the yearbook and the people pages had a specific where's Emily kind of vibe going for them. Emma thought, what better to do than to Photoshop a giant translucent head of Emery Pence into the background of this photo? And it looked good, but, but why stop at one? We could get a second in there. And yeah, maybe a third too. That makes sense. And this went on for about 20 minutes before our masterpiece was complete. And while perhaps it got vetoed by Linda Vernon, it cemented you in my mind as a fun and creative person. The contagious joy that Emma brings to groups allows others to become comfortable with her presence and look to her for advice. While Emma may not always jump at opportunities to be a leader, she often finds herself in leadership roles just based on who she is. She has the best in mind not only for herself, but for everyone she encounters. This is made clear by the way she engages in groups she is involved with. In her homeroom and within her graduating class, she makes sure that everyone is taken care of, feels respected, and is heard. On the volleyball court and soccer field, she became a leader by putting in incredible effort inside and outside of the season, while giving others positivity and motivation to do the same. Among her friends, she is looked to for guidance, and she is able to objectively look at situations and see the right thing to do. These things make being with Emma meaningful, and her natural leadership is missed when she is not present. She has quite appropriately been identified as the glue that holds groups together. Emma's drive to support others was highlighted by her senior project. For those of you that do not know, Emma designed and created six dresses entirely from scratch. Before the idea came to her, she was thinking something along the lines of, boy, wouldn't it be cool to just sew for a long time? <laughs> what she found as the idea developed is that she wanted to connect with the people who would wear these dresses. So she decided to speak with each person and determine what she needed to do to make them feel her, feel comfortable, and feel beautiful wearing that dress. The dresses are unique partially because of their handmade design, but they mean so much to each individual because of the emotional connection that Emma forged while making them. While I think her drive to sew has gone down by maybe, maybe a hair, the drive to make others feel respected and cared for is alive and well and influences everything Emma does. Emma came to Roper looking forward to the freedom that is offered, and with that freedom, she has been able to do incredible things. She's an outrageously talented learner who challenges herself and does not back down. In and out of the sports season, she is working hard to ensure that she and her team are able to stand up to formidable opponents. Emma, you inspire others in all communities that you are in. You inspire them to be the best, and as you join the DePaul community, take that with you. So today, I'm going to tell you the same thing that Susanna Nichols said as you left for your semester abroad in Italy. This might be just what you need, but I'm bummed to not be able to spend another semester with you. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, graduate of the Roper School, Emma Elizabeth Snellis. <laughs> 